Uh, my name is Gracie Davidson. I'm the social media coordinator here at the I2C. And I'm Juliana Dennis. I'm the administrative and events coordinator here at the I2C. And this is the I2C's virtual tour, otherwise known as the Invention to Innovation Center. Let's get started, guys. The I2C has five principles, co-working, collaboration, community, mentorship, and incubation. You may not find all five in one room, but you'll find at least one. Like in the lobby, you'll find incubation and community. People will bring their friends to eat, co-workers, or somebody else from our outside business. They'll spark new ideas and talk forms of innovation. Like we had our Christmas party here this year. We had tenants come from the building, we had the president of UAH, the I2C mentors, and anyone else associated with I2C. I got to meet people that I didn't even know were associated with the I2C. This open space allows for ideas to spark and new forms of innovation. Right before you get to the conference room, you'll see three out of our four corporate sponsors. Intuitive, which is also an innovation hub here at the I2C, Warner Average, Maynard Cooper Dale, and Innovate Huntsville. Similar to the lobby, our conference room does the same thing for incubation and community, but it also has collaboration. We've hosted many different events here in the conference room. We've done a Space Apps Challenge, which is a 24-hour cybersecurity competition here in Huntsville. We've done the B High School Idea Competition Challenge for about three years now. We've done Entrepreneur, Strong Coffee, Strong Women, Women in Technology. We've hosted a bunch of different workshops here as well. The UX Design, Slack, LinkedIn. These are just some of the current ones we've hosted, but we've hosted several others. You can find collaboration not only here in the Spark Studio as well, which is our podcast room, and it's also the next part of our tour. This is the Spark Studio. This is for any video, audio, for anything startups, innovation, or ideas. And this has also been powered by Project XYZ. So let's come in. So when you get into the room, you'll first see our sound absorbing pads. So this is what makes our audio quality so good, is because you're not hearing that echo. Then you get to the podcast equipment. This is my favorite part. You have the Audio-Technica microphones, the Rodecaster, and then the Yamaha headphones. So what you'll do is you'll connect the Rodecaster to your device, which can be a computer, even a phone, or you can even do it via Bluetooth. You'll set your settings up, and you'll talk through the microphone, and it projects. Another cool part about this setup is when you do videos and you bring your ring light or your tripod, if it doesn't get too high or if it's too short, our cables at the I2C, they adjust, which is really, really cool. So you not only have cool moving tables, microphones, but you also have recording equipment. You have the GoPro. I mean, this is this room is packed full of opportunities to create anything startup related. We host seven different podcasts. There is a Spark Spotlight Company Edition, Spark Spotlight Mentor Edition, Community Chats, Founder Fundamentals, Marketing and Legal Editions, and Intersections, Mission to Innovate. The Spark Spotlights podcast cover the best and brightest companies and mentors at the I2C. Community Chats features engaging conversations with companies, entrepreneurs, scholars, students, researchers, and anyone in the community connected in the field of innovation, startups, technology, and venture. Then you have Founder Fundamentals, our boot camp series featuring the best and brightest experts from Manor Cooper, Warren Averett, and Flourish, covering key topics in finance, legal, and marketing that directly impact starting and scaling your startup. Finally, we have Intersections Mission to Innovate, which discusses inter and intra collaboration structures that are foundational for this kind of sustainable growth and share real world experiences. You can find any of these podcasts on our social media platforms at UAH I2C or on our website at www uah.edu slash i2c not only can you find our podcast here but any video made in the studio as well like our crash courses and wednesday wisdoms every wednesday i provide some sort of insight from a tech entrepreneur the spark studio is the only place in the building that covers all five principles here at the i2c um i think that wraps up my part of the tour we'll see you in the second part when juliana takes you to the second and third floor bye guys
Hi guys, it's me, Juliana. Now that we've finished up with Gracie and learned a little bit more about the I2C and what happens on this main space, we're gonna head on up to the second and third floors. Okay, so right now we are in the I2C's great big blue staircase, which overlooks UAH's beautiful campus. All right, so for this part of the I2C virtual tour, we've made our way up to the second floor, which is where a lot of our 18 wonderful companies are located. So here at the I2C, we do have all tech-based startups, but the companies who do have space here really vary by industry, such as we have aviation and defense, we have federal services, such as Essential Federal Services, who's one of our two um, innovation hubs. We also have STEM, education, we have apps, food, entertainment, and we even have a company who teaches STEM education and video game design to local youth throughout the region. So as we move down the hallway, um, you can see that we have a lot of different resources for these companies in the building, so they have space to innovate and grow. So we do have several um, conference spaces on each, the second and the third floor, where they can come, they can host their meetings, they can have internal meetings, and we provide all of the resources they need, such as the TV monitor display, we have whiteboards, and a lot of different collaboration opportunities. So we also have, um, to our right, we have what are called call rooms, and these are simply tiny rooms with a table and a chair you shut the door, you schedule a time, and you have a quiet space to take phone calls or to just simply do your work. And as we move down, we have what is called the plug and play spaces. So this is a space with I2C that really hones on our collaboration and encouragement throughout the companies. So the different companies can come here, they can either just get a change of scenery from their offices or come together and collaborate with one another in the central location here on the second floor. So right past our plug and play spaces, we actually have one of the I2C's very first student-owned companies, Core 3D Prototyping. So for this portion of the video, we're gonna head inside and see if they can tell us a little bit more about themselves and how they got started here at the I2C. Hello everyone, welcome to Core 3D Prototyping. I'm Arthur Murray and I'm currently a sophomore mechanical engineering major here at UAH. I'm Sam Lewis and I'm also a sophomore mechanical engineering major here at UAH. Arthur and I are the co-founders of Core 3D Prototyping. Core is host to multiple engineering processes such as prototyping, 3D design, and small batch manufacturing. We use additive manufacturing methods such as stereo lithography and fused deposition modeling as our go-to methods of printing. Core has completed multiple product designs as well as printing not one but two five foot tall Saturn V brackets. Core and the I2C have teamed up this year to put on the Charger Innovation Design Challenge, in which students are invited to present innovative design solutions to improve dorm life. We plan to soon launch our own line of tabletop board game products such as dice towers and dice holders, for example. Here's one in my hand. But I think that's everything Core. Um, you can connect with us via our website at coreprototype.xyz and in our Instagram at core 3 prototype Thanks, Thanks for stopping by. Bye. So that was Core 3D Prototyping, and they are a wonderful example of how the I2C really wants to help students jumpstart their entrepreneurship ideas, their career goals, before they even finish their degrees, and right here on UAH's campus. So Core is actually located inside what is called the Bridge of UAH. It's called the Bridge because it's literally connecting the I2C building with the Business Administration building. So we want to take those students who have the entrepreneurship goals, that have startup ideas, and give them a space to nourish and grow those ideas, even while they're still taking courses. So at the I2C, other than a physical space, we also offer plenty of opportunities with our companies. They are very diverse in industries, so that gives student internship opportunities as well. So all students have to do is go onto the I2C page of the UAH website. On the left side of the screen, there is a tab that says internships and there is a regularly updated spreadsheet where they can come and find engineering, cybersecurity, all sorts of internships while they're still taking classes here at UAH. We also have a lot of networking opportunities that, uh, in the spaces that Gracie showed downstairs in the other tour. And we also have 
um, contests where they can come, they can win prize money, they can get the entrepreneurship experience. Um, CORE, for example, is about to host a Charger dorm challenge so they can come, um, all sorts of students across campus can team up and come get their ideas of how to improve the dorm experience. So not only are they getting that experience from an entrepreneurship standpoint, but they can also improve the campus as a whole. So again, we are really, really wanting to help students grow and nourish their ideas and come and join these very, you know, great mentors in a collaborative space. So that was the second floor of the I2C. Now let's head on up to the third floor. So now we are on the third floor of the I2C. This floor is very similar to the second floor. We still have the conference spaces. We have the call rooms, um, plenty of room to collaborate. We have a cafe area for networking or just for the tenants to come and relax. And we also have what is different from the second floor is actually an additional, instead of the plug and play spaces, it's still collaborative, but we just have this very more like rest and relaxation and networking space. And the second thing that's different from the second floor is actually right outside. So this is the second thing that's a little bit different from the second floor. And it is a hidden gem of the I2C, one of my personal favorites the beautiful outside terrace that overlooks the UAH campus. So though we really want to give these um, startup companies and innovators a place to come and work and work together, we also want to give them a space where they can come and rest, get a little bit of fresh air, and restore for more ideas to come. So yeah, that is the I2C virtually. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope we've sparked a little bit of innovation in yourselves. Don't forget to follow us. We have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at UAH I2C. We would love to hear from you and connect with you guys in the future. Bye guys.